He's just getting no respect for his punches from Lickleman. I thought he was waiting for him, yeah. Lickleman, oh. maybe a little body shot here will finish the battle, but left oh, up. Is, left is, up. Oh, what? The referee waves off the bar, Brian, that's it. What a moment. Lickleman takes the world championship, takes the victory, answers all the haters. My goodness, pal, what a fight. Now, unless you've been living under a rock for the past week, then there's no doubt that you are watching the first ever Wicked and Bad Promotions fight between the one and only Lickle Man and Salim Shaboob. Now, I'm not gonna lie. The first time that I heard there were gonna be two dwarves swinging it out in a ring, I initially thought it was just some kind of joke. But nevertheless, it is probably one of the biggest events the UK has seen this year. And I know this event is something that is going to go down in UK entertainment history. And in this video, what I'm going to be discussing is the journey of Little Man. And why I feel he was destined to win this fight and become an international star. And what you can also learn from it to implement into your life, your business, and in yourself. This is Aaron, this is the Golden Knowledge, and this is the journey of Little Man, and why he was destined to be an international star. By way of knockout, and new world champion, Little Man! Aidan Henry was born on the 29th of August 1994, making him 26 years old as of today. He unfortunately was born with dwarfism, a condition that places a restriction on one's height. Alongside having to deal with his condition growing up, he also claims that he didn't really have the best upbringing. All this negativity around him eventually led him to pursue a life of crime, which landed him in jail a numerous number of times. But it was during his last sentence, however, where he started to make some very entertaining videos while being locked up in prison, which took social media by storm. All these videos eventually started circulating like crazy and even made headlines on national newspapers, causing massive controversy to be surrounded around his name. Come on down, let's go. It was only then, until Bouncer Play Dirty, an entertainment and music manager, came up with the genius idea to create an Instagram account. And once Aiden was released, to manage him and build a brand out of him. This is where the idea of Little Man was born. And Aiden, who went into jail as a criminal, came out as a national Superstar. I was on a road to the double up home now. I wanted to see my piece just triple. I to run a boy down in my air force pits. Can I got a piece in the middle? Are you sure? From then on out, Little Man has become a very entertaining social media influencer. Doing various comedic skits and videos, which has allowed him to achieve massive success from building up his own platform and brand. But as with any successful and ambitious person, there is always the question of what's next? What can I do to take this to another level? Oh, wait, see, man's got this belt right now. If any YouTuber wants it, you can come get it. Jake Paul, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, any of the Pauls, I don't care. Bring it. Same, yo, if any celebrity wants it, yo. Where's Rio? Where From seeing the success of YouTuber boxing, Bouncer and Little Man decided 
that it was their time to shine in the ring. Through many months of promotion and preparation, the pair put on a spectacular display of marketing, challenging other dwarves for a chance to have it out in the ring. This is when an Algerian dwarf, Selim Shaboub, accepted the offer. And the pair went on to put on a spectacular show that has never been seen before. Little Man is now the biggest dwarf influencer in the UK and is an icon to many dwarves and disabled people around the world. And he is someone, regardless of what you are, can learn from and implement the teachings into your life and business. What I'm referring to is the 25th law of power. Recreate yourself. Do not accept the roles that society foists on you. Recreate yourself by forging a new identity. One that commands attention and never bores the audience. Be the master of your own image, rather than letting others define it for you. Incorporate dramatic devices into your public gestures and actions. Using this law will enhance your power and your character will seem larger than life. And this is the law that Little Man has carried out to the T. On paper, it seems that all the odds were stacked against him. A dwarf who had a challenging upbringing and who knew nothing more than a life of crime. But even though it did take some time, what Little Man eventually realised, and with the help of Bouncer, is that he had the power to become who he wants to be. The character you seem to have been born with is not necessarily who you are. Beyond the characteristics that you inherit, it's your parents, your friends, and your peers that are the ones that help shape your personality. The mindset of the powerful is to take control of this process and to stop allowing other people to limit what you can be. Little Man is a clear example of how you can recreate yourself into a strong character of power even when it appears that you have every disadvantage possible. Regardless of where you're from and all the disadvantages that may be on your side, you have the ability to recreate yourself into a powerful character. This also is what Bouncer has done. He also led a life of crime and talks about spending a long time of his life in prison. But once he came out, even though it was a struggle, he didn't let his circumstances define who he can be and what he can achieve. First reason I ended up in the prison was conspiracy to rob with, with my coldies. And now I look back at it, obviously it's a wrong thing to do. But then it was literally, that was what, that's what it was doing, robbing Supreme Court boxes. Don't get it twisted, life isn't fair. Not everyone experiences a perfect childhood or upbringing or has the perfect genetics, but that's usually out of your control. In order to get over this, you need to just play with the cards that you're dealt with. But instead of moaning of how much a victim of life you are, you don't let it place a limit on what you can be and what you can achieve. 
if someone was to say a couple years ago that this little guy in prison will go on to become a global boxing superstar, you'd probably laugh your ass off. But him and Bouncer have actually made it happen. Aiden Henry has recreated himself into a whole new person. This whole new person and whole new character of Little Man, who is now a national icon and is someone that is a symbol of motivation. A clear example of not letting your circumstances define you. And I think, besides the strict and extensive training behind the fight, is the reason why Little Man won is because there was such determination and will behind his punches of wanting to become a brand new person. This opportunity was something that would change his life forever. And he decided to take full advantage of that. And to give credit where it's due, he has achieved that. Trust me, God. So you've been in you've been in jail since you well, not since you were thirteen, out, in but in and out since you were thirteen. And this is the longest that you stayed out. Yeah. What's behind you staying out now? And is it what, what happened? I've got that golden ticket to change my life around or can I be in that little shit what goes in and out of jail? And obviously I've chosen the ticket, anyway. Know what I mean? And I want you to imagine something right now. Picture a piece of clay in front of you. And this piece of clay represents you and your character. And what I want you to do is to imagine yourself as an artist. An artist who is working on yourself and using the clay to design and create the person that you want to be. Working on yourself is one of the greatest and most pleasurable tasks in life. It makes you in essence an artist. An artist creating yourself. For thousands of years, it was only kings and queens that had the freedom to shape their image and determine their identity. But with the freedom that we have nowadays, with things such as the internet and the power of social media, you now have the power to define who you want to be. Don't let your inherited limitations ever set you back. In this day and age, you can be whoever the hell you want to be. The world wants to assign you a role in life. And once you accept that one role, your power and mindset is then limited because once you accept the role that society forces upon you, your power is limited to that role and you will never be able to break away from it. Be an artist of your own creation and don't let society place you into this little tiny box. You have the power to recreate yourself into a memorable character. A person that compels attention and one that stands out above all the other players on the stage. Just like Little Man, I want you to take control of her. Take control of the power to recreate yourself and become whoever the hell you want to be. And watch you become a person that you never thought would even be possible. And that's how Little Man was able to defy the odds and change his life. And that's how you can also take more power over your life. I'm wearing it. Look at me, I was in jail, I've been in jail all my life, I had a bad life. I don't want no no sympathy or nothing like that, but I've come from a long way, you know what I'm saying? Look at me now, famous and dangerous, wicked and bad. You know what I'm saying, Little Man, don't say a word. <laughs> Now, if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button and leave a comment below on what your thoughts and feelings are about Lickoman. And if you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. 
and to all our loyal subscribers, we are glad you are here. We do some of the best character breakdowns on the whole of YouTube and we aim to produce at least one high quality animated video per week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any golden knowledge. I'll see you soon.